Hey everyone, it's the local lab back with another exciting dive into the world of AI. Today, we're talking about something truly a handy tool for any creator looking to enhance their workflow. AI that can clone voices and generate incredibly realistic speech. And the craziest part? You can run it all on your own computer for free. We're going to be exploring XDTS Web UI, a powerful tool that leverages the cutting-edge XDTS model for text-to-speech synthesis. This isn't your grandpa's robotic text-to-speech. We're talking about AI that understands nuances in speech, emotions, and even accents, creating results that are nearly indistinguishable from real human voices. Welcome to the Local Lab channel. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more great content. Welcome to the Local Lab channel. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more great content. Pretty impressive, right? But this tool goes even further. Imagine being able to give your YouTube videos a professional edge with AI voiceovers that sound like famous actors or even your own voice. Create audiobooks in a flash without needing expensive recording equipment. Develop accessible applications for visually impaired users with incredibly lifelike synthetic speech. The possibilities are practically endless. And the best part is, XDTS Web UI is surprisingly user-friendly. Now, you can get this bad boy up and running in two ways. The first way is to simply use the Google Kylab Notebook. This method is perfect if you want to jump right in without any complicated installations. Here's how it's done. Head to the GitHub repository. Click the link in the description to visit the official XDTS Web UI GitHub page. Scroll down the page until you see a section titled Installation. There should be a link there that directs you to a Google Kylab notebook. Click the link and it'll open in your browser. If you're not already logged into your Google account, you'll be prompted to do so. You'll see blocks of code called cells within the Collab notebook. Starting from the top, click the play button next to each cell to execute the code. This will download the necessary files, install dependencies, which should take anywhere from three to five minutes. The last cell will usually have code that launches the server. Run it and look for a URL that typically starts with localhost to appear in the output. Click the Gradio Share link and you're in. Clicking this link will open the XDTS Web UI interface in a new tab, ready for you to start generating. For those who like to get their hands dirty, manual installation is the way to go. To get started first, you need to install Miniconda if you don't already have it installed. Just do a quick Google search and click on the first link that leads to the Anaconda documentation. Download and install the Miniconda version suited for your operating system. Once Miniconda is properly installed, do a quick search in your Windows search bar and click on the Anaconda prompt icon to fire up the Miniconda PowerShell terminal. Create a Conda ENV that will hold all the dependency requirements for the, the XDTS Web UI project install and keep them isolated from other settings you may have installed on your device. Conda create -n XDTS Web UI Python equals 3.10. Activate the environment by typing Conda Activate XDTS Web UI. You'll notice your command prompt might change slightly, with the name of the environment now showing to the left of the directory path, indicating you're in the right environment. Now you can change your directory to where you want your install to be stored that will make it the easiest for you by typing cd in the name of the directory. Here I will change my directory to my desktop folder, cd desktop. Now, You'll need Git installed to download the project files from GitHub. Again, do a quick search on Google for Git download and click on the git-scm link. Download and install the Git version for your operating system. With Git ready to go, clone the repository. Use the following command to clone the repository to your computer. Type git clone. Copy and paste the repo link. Navigate into the project directory. 
cdxdts web ui Run the installation script to begin installing the project's dependencies. For Windows, use install.bat. For Linux, use install.sh. This will begin installing all the dependencies packages and will take several minutes to complete. You can take a quick break here. If you have an NVIDIA GPU and want to harness its power for faster generation, run the following command to install CUDA package wheels to enable GPU acceleration. Copy and paste the command. Finally, to download the remaining models and launch the XTTS web UI, type backslash start underscore XTTS underscore web UI dot bat. Once the local host URL shows in the command prompt, copy the link. Open your browser and paste the local host URL. You'll see the URL in your command prompt once the server is up and running. Now you're ready to experience the magic of AI voice cloning. This part is simple. Just type or paste the text you want the AI to speak into the input text box. XTTS Web UI supports a variety of languages. Select the language you want your generated speech to be in from the drop-down menu. For those who like to tinker, the advanced settings offer greater control. Feel free to experiment and find what sounds best to you. Choose a pre-existing voice from the available options or upload a short audio sample of the voice you want to clone. The AI will analyze this reference voice to mimic its unique characteristics. If you want to further polish your audio, some additional enhancement options might be available, though these may require more VRAM. Play around with them to see if they improve the output quality for your specific use case. Click the Generate button, and the AI will work its magic, creating a stunningly realistic voiceover from your text. Hello, my name is Sarah, and I'll be your guide for the tour today. But wait, there's more. XTTS Web UI also boasts a powerful voice-to-voice -voice translation feature. Here's how to use it. Navigate to Voice2 to Voice tab. Click on the dedicated tab for voice translation within the interface. Select the audio file you want to translate. It could be anything, a clip from a movie, a podcast snippet, or even your own voice recording. Choose the language you want to translate your audio to. You might also be able to specify a desired accent for the translated speech. Click the Translate button and let the AI work its magic. En el juicio por corrupción contra el senador Menéndez, Bob Menéndez, el jurado comenzó a deliberar para alcanzar un veredicto. El senador enfrenta cargos de sobornos from the police. In the corruption trial against Senator Menendez, the jury began to deliberate to reach a verdict. The senator faces bribes and for acting as a foreign agent of which he has declared himself innocent. XTTS Web UI will not only translate your audio but also attempt to preserve the original speaker's voice, creating a remarkably seamless and natural sounding result. So there you have it, folks. XTTS Web UI, your gateway to cutting-edge voice cloning and text-to-speech technology. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more AI awesomeness, and let me know in the comments what creative uses you can imagine for this incredible tool. Until next time, stay curious.